Bois. Hello, chat. It me. How does my intro go again? <laughs> I know how it goes, chat. Don't worry. I haven't moved, I haven't forgotten anything. It's all good. How's everyone doing? Gastrodon is going insane. Gastrodon, Gastrodon is currently very happy. G Gastrodon, Gastrodon is currently a very happy po pocket monster right now. Shut up, Gastrodon. I'm tired. I'm tired of the greeting. I'm tired of the Gastrodon just going in my ears. Hi. God, I forget how to do an intro sometimes, Jesus. It is what it is. Beans. Thank you, Greenheart. You're very helpful. Prediction. Prediction. Not shiny this DA. Let's go. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Very, very low energy intro to the stream. Very low energy start to the stream, it is what it is. I don't know, like, I just sat down and I was like, I'm a stream. I'm a stream, but I don't know if I wanted to, because I was like going back and forth between a few things. Then it got close to stream time and I went, it struggled. <laughs> It be struggle sometime. You don't think... Oh, sorry. You think I'm Pog, but you also think that my shiny luck is Garbag. That's completely understandable. My shiny luck is... Uh, is, is... Is bad. Shiny luck is bad, yes. Shiny luck is always going to be bad. I mean, it's me, for God's sake. Of course it's going to be bad shiny luck. I mean, what, we usually go to about 500, 500 KOs on this thing and then we just do. Then we just do, chat. Recover, bruh. Imagine being a star you and just using recover. Could not be me. I want to talk about the stream title real quick. I didn't mean for it to come off as egotistical as what it was. I just was like, hey, Metal Fear 4 does like catchy sort of stream titles. So why not me? Why not me? Why not me try and do a semi catchy, like an eye grubby title? Eye grubby clickbait boy. Not exactly clickbaiting, though. I don't know. I don't think you should do clickbait. That's just my personal opinion. Clickbait is boring, but unfortunately, it's it's not boring. It's more... It's more like you shouldn't just do it straight up. It's garbage. Clickbait is absolute garbage. I don't understand why people do it. Are there cactus Pokemon in this game? I feel like if uh, I feel like I've said this multiple times, Greenheart. The answer is no, unfortunately. There will be in BDSP. There will be in BDSP though. In Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you will have um, at least Cacnea and Cacturn, but you probably won't have uh, Maractus. Well, you definitely won't have Maractus because it is a Gen 5 Pokemon, and the current Pokedex goes to Gen 4. Or the BDSP Pokedex goes to Gen 4, I should say, excuse me. I know what I'm not saying. Oh, cool. I'm out of I'm out of Pokemon moves on that one. Uh, I'm doing a farm only run on BDSP to increase popularity of my 
farms Greenheart farm. Okay. <laughs> okay. All good. Sounds interesting. Hope it works out. Sounds like an interesting way to do a, um... A thing. God, I am not doing well in terms of trying to speak today. In terms of doing a run through Burian Diamond Shining Pearl. That's what I was meant to say. Something along those lines. Makes sense. Let's have a look here. You think you'll make it a Nuzlocke too? Why not? Fair enough. Ultimately up to you. Ultimately up to you. Mainly just depends on what you feel like doing. Swap out Gastrodon for real... For real and bloom. I like how my brain just switches off immediately as soon as I hit start streaming. I look at it and I go, hmm, brain will work today. Brain did not work today. Brain never works today. Just this exact day. No, it's more, um,. Just my brain, like, I just turned off my brain before I started streaming. I'm just like, I'm automatically just going to do things tonight. Brain is unemployed. Swap out the Gastrodon. Thank you for the luck, Greenheart. Greenheart, I'm not sure. It'll be of much use tonight, but... It is what it is. It do be what it do be. And right now it do be, hopefully, getting closer and closer towards a shiny Pokemon. I do not fully expect to, fully expect to get it in this stream. I will be completely honest with you. I can guarantee you that we are on the way towards a shiny star you. Unfortunately, star me, its evolution looks like garbage. Unless I'm just looking at it wrong. I could be completely wrong about that one as well. Uh, I have, in I have incredible luck, trust the green boy. Ooh, you make a good case there, to be fair, Greenheart. You make a good case. You make a good and honest case there, Mr. Greenheart. So maybe I should trust your ability there. It is still questionable, but it is what it is. In which, hopefully, we could get this Pokemon tonight. Uh, Star you. Well, Star me, actually, because I wanted to check what Star me was up to. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I thought it was like worse than that, but it's not as good as the shiny star you, to be fair. Shiny star me is like still got the blue gem, but it's not different in terms of its actual color scheme, if you will. Your luck is a bit weird though. If you encounter the wrong shiny Pokemon, blame me, will do. Will do, Greenheart. With pleasure. No, not with pleasure, but more just questioning the ability of Mr. Greenheart for blursing me with the incorrect shiny Pokemon. Ah, yes, you have been blursed with a shiny Krabby. Amazing. Watch me have written down my death sentence now for getting a shiny Krabby tonight. That would not be good. I have battled 169 of these boys. Big yikes. Is that a tentacle? Ooh, tentacles in the game. Pog. I forgot tentacle was in the game. You have jinxed it? I don't think I have. 
even if, even if we do, even if we don't, it doesn't particularly matter because at the end of the day, we still get a shiny around here. So I won't get a shiny. I won't get a shiny Krabby with Pokerus and perfect IVs. I don't think Pokemon can hold Pokerus in this game. I mean, they could, but it's rare, isn't it? Someone get me the odds on Pokerus if you can. But it would be incredibly rare to get a a shiny Pokemon with Pokeross and perfect IVs. That would be insanely rare. Which actually gets me to the point of checking those EVs that we have. Which would be a good idea. What's Pokerus? It helps with the experience gain of a Pokemon. Although it's like really rare to get. I think. What's going on here? Oh, for God's sake. If for some reason I looked at um because I have notifications for the Twitter post that I put up on my phone it just came up saying that it was liked by Twitch animations or whatever it said and I got concerned because I thought it was an official Twitch page but it wasn't so we're good one in 21,845 chance yeah so highly highly unlikely that we will be seeing a Pokemon that is shiny holding Pokeross or having Perky Ross. Still completely possible though, that is a thing, but it's like omega rare for that to occur. I'm just double checking that I've spotted that many Pokemon. Because I definitely do get these sorts of things wrong, as historics have shown. History has shown that it is not too kind when it comes to my, to my, um, Mathematics, that is for sure. Twitch has been no for that sort of stuff. I was able to beat the staff of a certain game in their own game, so my luck isn't bad. I also have done an almost all legendary team in a Nuzlocke, so my luck is pretty good. Any Pokemon with Pekoros is in a 1 in 86,016% chance. A 1 in 86,016 chance. Super rare. It wouldn't surprise me if we looked on, say, YouTube and saw that nobody had achieved that in the slightest. Like, it would not surprise me at all. Oh, sugar. Uh, what's the chance of a shiny poker rust with perfect IVs? I'm pretty sure Nitro is currently doing the statistics for that now. So, who knows? We'll probably find out relatively shortly. I think we're 178 right now, but I've probably got my maths wrong again, so it is what it is. Doing the math. Someone surely has already done the math, so you don't exactly have to repeat yourself. Surely.
surely someone can save you from that sort of mathematic equation. Or at least someone online has done the mathematic equation already. Stinky boy. Stinky star you. Stinky star you boy. What a boy. So yeah, massively impossible in that case then, Nitro. Massively, massively impossible. It's a very big cal it's a very big number. You don't need to calculate the number with pretty much got a specific idea of what the of what the idea ideal percentage is. Which means it is really rare. And that's not even with um, taking into account what type of odds you use there. Because you could be using Gen 5, uh, 1 to 4, uh, sorry, 2 to 5 odds. Or Gen 6 to 8 odds. With that one there. It's a bit warm today, Jesus. It's a bit of a warm day today. Australian spring's starting to hit a little bit. So hopefully the Australian summer doesn't bite as hard, but knowing this, knowing how the weather's been increasing over the past few years, it's more than likely going to bite very hard, and it's not going to be fine. It is not going to be a good thing. Boomburst, why not? It's a one in lot of number chance of happening. Sheesh. Sheesh. Big old sheesh. Big old sheesh. I'm gonna do knock off. I'm gonna do knock off and just knock out the star you because yeah boy. 352,300 uh no 352,231,536. That sounds a little bit more on the ball than what I was saying, but hey. You get that on big jobs, I guess. Smart. I'm joking. How's that work? I have faith. That means we're getting a green heart. Uh, can you read this name? It's here. It's not that green heart, but it's close enough. That's exactly the same numbers you put. It was just put into a better formula of reading. A more tolerable reading sentence. More tolerable reading sentence. That's English, ladies and gentlemen.
15. 35 billion, 23 million, 21,536. I just took out all the zeros. That's not how maths works. <laughs> yes, very, very mad at those numbers. Very mad about maths right now. Very mad about maths. You know, you clearly didn't. You clearly didn't if you're stating that you knew when you didn't. Okay. Can Star you hold any item? Question mark? 50% for Stardust. Oh, just right just like there, right there. Stardust. Good good. Good. I'm trying to confuse chat. Why? That is how the math works, actually. Okay, never mind. Yeah, egg. Pretty much. That is all my shiny hunting is doing, is just laying a massive egg right now. I'm concerned. We're starting to lose a lot of, um... Watch hours. On the YouTube, but it is what it is. Stinky boy. I don't understand why they made, like, the brilliant versions of the Pokemon have that sort of aura around it, but it is what it is, I guess. There must be a specific reason as to why they have that certain aura around it, but it is what it is. Pretty sure Zach's lucky enough to get that. <laughs> Bold of you to assume. Bold of you to assume. Bold of you to assume, Greenheart. I should really check if I am actually at uh, 192. Because I am not quite sure. Because I, I love, like, looking at the... <laughs> yeah, big stonks. Big stonks. I love looking at the chat to get, like, interaction. But sometimes I'm, like, middle of thought. And quite clearly don't know what to do in terms of... That? I did get the maths right. Look at me go. Now I'm stonks. Now I'm also having some pizza come back up, which is not good. Pizza being a boy today. Do not start spamming the chat with luck. Do not start spamming the chat with luck. I will time you out and you will not be getting your um, mod back if you do. <laughs> lucky are you, Greenheart? Greenheart's not that lucky. He just ha he just happens to have chance encounters. Hence why he was able to battle one of those creators for a video game. It was a chance encounter. Whoops. Whoops. 
My hand slightly hit my stream deck and my stream deck went <clears throat> goodbye. I caught most of the legendaries in Nuzlocke with mostly Pokeballs. Fair. That is also a fair point, Nitro, that Tom from Tom and Jerry is also unlucky. He's a very unlucky boy, that Tom. Should feel bad for him, but specifically we don't know. I know we don't know why. I unlocked all the characters in Guardian Sales two years ago. So... <laughs> I'm get I don't think that's luck. I think that's just more down to you spending your time working on that game to get to that level. In terms of unlocking everything within that specific game. I don't particularly think that that's luck. I'm pretty sure that's just more you working hard on a game that you're passionate about to get all those characters. Guardian Tales requires a lot of RNG to get five stars. Half luck, half not. Really, it just comes down... It's like... Sort of skill, sort of luck, then sort of not. A bit of in-between both, if you really want to go that specifically. In-between both, that's English. But, yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with, like... RNG. It does allow for luck, but it can also allow for skill to prosper as well. One game I have extremely bad luck in is Genshin, but that's mostly due to uh, their terrible RNG. Eh. I mean, they got gotcha your games for a reason, so... They're specifically built in that way to... ...damage the player in terms of trying to collect everything. And you will get multiples of a specific thing when you're trying not to. That's just my opinion. Smile. But then again, I wouldn't know because I've not played a second of that game. They could have good RNG, it just comes down to bad luck or bad skill. Who knows? Maybe it's just also the way that those specific games are built in terms of how they do their... their pools and other things like that. Thank you for the luck, Nitro. 203. If you're liking the stream and haven't done so already, consider following it. Help me out a lot. I keep knocking off a specific item and I do not read what it is every time because I am silly. I'm pretty sure it's just Stardust every single time, but... You know, if I'm knocking off a star piece, then oh boy. We gonna have some issues. I'm also going to need to heal after this, which will not be fun. At least we're relatively close to where there's a healing station here, I think. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember.
Uh, give me. However, I did get crossover characters from Gacha games that nobody plays because they aren't that great in a game called Saw Master Something. I don't know the name. I got both Aqua and Darkness despite having just started the game. Sword Master, not Sword Art like I read. I thought it was Sword Art Online, but no, it's not. It was Sword Master that was stated. It was Sword Master that was stated. Let me have a look, see, at the number 205, 205. Excellent. 95 to go before the prediction is paid out. In AFK Arena, I heard that characters from Assassin's Creed both overlooked overload characters and another ca and another one which Oh, Jesus. Oi, oi, oi. Tyler AU, thank you for the raid, my guy. Raid of two. Welcome on in, raiders. That scared me. That spooked me. Welcome on in, raiders. I'm Zachman103. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Tonight we are playing Pokemon Sword. And we are shiny hunting. A hey, little star you. You were last playing Rocket League. How was your stream, Mr. Tyler? Hope it was good. Been a while since we've heard my raid alert chat. Sheesh. It's been a while since I've heard my raid alert. Is my host alert working? Question mark. Oh, that's not the Pokemon. That's not the Pokemon I wanted. That's a bag of soft sand. That makes sense to put there, actually. Is this toy known? I think it is. I'm gonna have to check. Slight concern, Zachman. I am also gonna have to heal after this one, which will not be good. I don't think hosts are working just in general, because hosts seem to just struggle. Like, host, hosting for, like, the, um, auto host doesn't work. So, who knows? Because it is coming up with hosts over here. Whoops. Because it came up with Tyler AU's raid, but it didn't come up with the host for... Nitro, which is weird. It is what it is. I think it may need a more than just one person, maybe? But even then, like... Other host alerts work. Because, like, when I host I leader every morning, uh, their alert goes off, so... I'm not quite sure why that is. Not quite sure why that is at all. Boosh. Boosh. Pop goes the weasel. Or in this case, Pop goes the Pokemon. And Gastrodon is living on not much HP. Which is not a good thing. This is not a Gastrodon, Zach, it's a Rillabloom. <laughs> There. 
Ignore the... Ignore the dumb little streamer. Streamer doesn't know what he's doing. 43 HP is what I currently have. And dead. Massively dead, which means I am alive. Just barely. Get in. It's just the host alerts doesn't work? Weird. I don't understand why the host alert doesn't work. Because, like, it should be coming up. Because, like, I haven't done anything in... T whoops. In terms of changing it, it's just... It's not showing up for some reason. Do I, like, have a specific filter to show? Where do you have Pokemon? To show it? Or am I just done? There goes Rillabloom. Rest in peace, Rillabloom. Uh, I need my alert overlay and it. Hey, can you read this name? Gives a hug to himself. I may be evil, but I'm not that evil. Debatable. Debatable. How the heck did that happen? It is what it is. We get to go for a break soon! A slight break, but a break nonetheless. I am wearing my Lonk shirt today because, yes. Why wouldn't I be wearing my Lonk shirt today? Who did I miss? Who did I miss? What did I do? Everything's fine, and then crab. <laughs> Suddenly, crab. Suddenly, a crab appeared. How shocking. Oh, Stummy just randomly just shows up. Stummy's like, hi, I'm here. Understandable, have a nice day. Goodbye, star you. Goodbye, Mr. Star you. Hello, Mr. Stinky Boy. Stinky Star you boy. It is not an explosive monkey, it is just a monkey that likes to beat to its own drum, if you will. Hi, hi. It is a monkey that likes to beat to its own drum. 195 experience. Use that 75k on VIP, that would be so useful. Sarcasm intensifies. It would just be refunded back to him. I've just pressed that button. Can you do what I asked you to, Button? Thank you. Christ. <laughs> Button did not want to work there. Oh, wow. Uh. You're already a mod, so VIP's useless, Greenheart. 
the perks that VIP brings is no commercials and other things like that. Like you don't get the ads that Twitch automatically pushes out and other things like that. So yeah. I mean you do you do you. You do you, that is for sure. But if you do redeem VIP, it will be refunded. Because that is a waste of your time, good sir. Even if I do get 75k VIP is useless to me, it's it's 80k though. Why is everyone saying it's 75k? It's 80k. Not even I corrected myself on this. It's 80k, chat. Oh! This pizza is not liking me today. My goodness me. This pizza does not like me today. Oi! Chill! <laughs> I didn't mean to click the button! Rilla Bloom, you need to chill, my guy. You nearly took someone's eye out. My god! In mind? I get that you want to play in your drum, but like, sheesh, man. Could be a little bit. Could be a little bit weird. said 75k because the thing is, I said earlier, 75k is just a 5k difference to get VIP. So where would I waste my time earning for something that reaps no benefit when I could waste all these points on more entertaining things? And this is the point of the stream where I ignore Greenheart. <laughs> like, VIP is useful, it's just that, like... It's more useful for the people that aren't a VIP. It's more useful for the people that would prefer to be a VIP of this channel. And it's also just used for the regulars who aren't already a VIP to just be... No, let me explain, Greenheart. I'm talking about, like, people who aren't VIPs or mods and the regulars of the channel, they would use the channel points to grind up for that to become a VIP. If that makes any sense. And even then, I had it at 103,000 channel points because I felt like, lol, it's a part of the meme of, uh, of, um, well, it's a part of the username, which is 103, just get rid of the three zeros afterwards. 103, if you will. And it's just a way for viewers to, you know, feel as if they're being interacted with and being part of the chat. That's just how I personally see it anyways. Just because you're a, vi uh, a uh, mod Greenheart does not make the p channel point useless. It just means that it is of no commercial value to you. The purpose of me having the channel points that I do is to give something for individuals of the community to use as well as the community to have more interaction with the streamer. I don't know. 
It's a, it's a weird way of explaining things, but like, of course the VIP isn't going to be useful to you. Is the main headline here. <laughs> main headline, VIP useless to a mod. I don't know why I'm continuing on with this conversation. I really don't. <laughs> That's what I said, I wouldn't reap benefits while other people would. Hmm. That's all good. I was just trying to, um, explain if you feel... The frick is this? What the hell's happened here? Whatever, I'll deal with it in the break. It is useless to, spe to specifically you, but to other people, the channel point redemption can be good to many people. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Am I at 229 or am I at 228? My brain always forgets it is at 229. Good stuff. 230, and with that... I shall go for a break. I'm a head out to a birthday sale. All good, Greenheart. Thanks for coming in. I'm going to go for a break when we return the last 70 encounters of the prediction and possibly of the stream. I might not go long tonight. I'm going to be honest about that one. I might not go long tonight. I will be right back. Hi, 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 hi. We are back and we are continuing. 232 encounters in, still no shiny, but it is still a. It is still a stream and a half. I transformed into Star Meter and then into a word. Nice. Nitro doesn't know how to spell. Who does know how to spell, to be completely fair to you? Imagine knowing how to spell in 2021. Feels weird, man. Feels weird, man. Feels weird. Ah, yay, yay. Where to now? There to now. Not me. Definitely not me. Imagine knowing how to spell in 2021. Definitely not my fault, eh? Have no idea what you're on about. Quick, learn how to spell. No. I refuse to spell. Spelling is for chumps. <laughs> I played some SOT today. You're gonna have to... I'll oh, see if feeds. What'd you think? You enjoying the game? Spelling? Who knows how to do that? I know, right? Sp spelling in my 2021? Unacceptable. Me wanting to yeet this bottle that I currently have in front of me? Priceless. It's Poggers? It is a pretty good game, eh, Star? Definitely worth the wait of downloading, even though the download is an absolute pain. Spelling. Imagine getting an A plus in 2021. LOL. In English? LOL. Imagine knowing how English works in 2021. Sea Thieves is an absolutely amazing game. Yes, it is. I know how to spell and I know how to do the grammar you speak of. Do you really though, Star? I actually got an A in English. Okay. Okay. S uh, small flex. S small flex? F flex. <laughs> nice flex there, Mr. Shooting a Star. A in English and maths? Nice. Nice. 
<laughs> just your average everyday flex chat. I got an A in English. Nice. I don't think I've gotten an A in English before. Eh. It doesn't particularly matter. Because, like, the main thing about English... English turns from learning how to spell stuff into... Here's this scripture from Mozart. Mozart wrote about a book. This book had Napoleon go on a, on a sailing trip and fail to seduce any person. Or something along those lines. Science is fun, uh, but the bane of my existence when it comes to grades. Science is good, you just need to, you know, pay attention and not make any mistakes within the class. I feel like it's possible. I do pay attention? Doubt. I'm just kidding. Unlike some people. To be fair, I don't understand why a large amount of people are just like, I don't want to pay attention in school. Like, I get that a lot of it isn't transferable into outside of school. Because, like, who's going to use trigonometry every day? Good chat, just something did not agree with me. Something did not agree with me there. Christ. Yeah, no, Greenheart, I'm... Yeah, no, you're not getting a pass for that one, my guy. You're not getting a pass for that one. You're not going to get a pass for that one. That's not even a funny joke. Just don't say it, my guy. And considering you're already on some pretty thin ice, I would suggest turning your behavior around really quickly before I hit the ban hammer. Uh, I have one good teacher. Only one, though. Fair. You're not going to have like a string of good teachers. There's o there's always going to be at least one teacher that you hate. That or there's only going to be one teacher that you like, like Shining Star said. To explain what happened earlier with the coughing and things like that, water went down the wrong tube. That's at least what we explain it as. It's what we at least explain it as in this house. <laughs> in this house, we call it going down the wrong tube. Then again, I'm not sure how the actual neck works. Maybe there is like different tubage or like different sections of the neck in which things go in. Unless it all just goes down into the stomach. I don't bloody know. <laughs> I still haven't done DAs yet, yet I don't want to do it with trash, aka CPU people in this game. Yeah, look, the CPUs in this game are not good. That was a star piece. The, C the computer generated people for this are not particularly good. Considering it's a bit of luck with what the Pokemon that you're battling does and what the Pokemon decides to do. But it's also just relatively difficult to do like Zygarde or anything with computers. With the computer people. The computer people. The CPUs. 
the computer people. Jeez. The computer people. What was I thinking when saying that? The computer people, chat. Beep, bada boop, boop, bada beep. I just want to remove the CPUs from the dens. You're gonna have to team up with people, my guy. And even then, it's difficult to team up with strangers. At least in terms of like, Dynamax Adventures with stream and other things like that, you at least know who's here in terms of the stream. And you can at least know that um, people are willing to help you out when you're doing Dynamax Adventures within the Chateau. Dens are easy if you have people. Exactly. Exactly. Like anyone? I wouldn't exactly say that because... It's a mixture of luck and it's also just a mixture of who you're teamed up with, ultimately. No idea what you mean, but okay, we're talking about, um, we're talking about, uh, Dynamax Adventures, your local mistake. In which I don't have one scheduled for this week, but that's okay. Schedule is going to look a little bit funky from what you're normally used to. Mainly because I'm going based off what the viewer survey says, and a lot of you guys have wanted to see more games that I'm particularly interested in playing. Instead of just forcing myself to do a stream. CPU brings in like level 10 Pokemon. CPU stupid. CPU be really dumb. Oi. At least three people bring in high level Pokemon. True. True fact, my friend. I was going to check my, um, my Pokedex to check how many of these boys I have battled, but then I encountered another one. We take those. Like above level 70 most of the time, yeah. And then again, it's like really easy to level up in this game and it's gonna be really easy to level up in BDSP because they have um shared experience, which a forced shared experience, yeah, which I'm not a fan of personally, but you know, the target demographic is children, so can't really complain. Semicolon not put into a into a position to complain, but you know, it is what it is. I wish it was an option, especially if you're trying to grind. Yeah, I definitely would prefer I would prefer to have the option to turn off the experience share. Cause it because I grew up in the original generation four in which I had to basically grind to get what I wanted in terms of I wanted to get my Pokemon to level 50, or I wanted to get my Pokemon to level 65, or something like that, in order to take on the Elite Four and the Champion. I do want both, just make it an option. Yeah, they should have just kept it the same way it was in Gen 6, which was, you can toggle it on, or you can toggle it off. But they've forced it down people's throats, and people don't like that. You're forced to have the experience share on. And people are not a fan. What the heck is that? Why, why, what, what, what is that? What are you doing? Can you read this now? Uh, let me actually just double check that I'm not talking out of a specific section of myself here. 
And yeah. Wishing star. Endorsement. Adventure guide. Roton bike. You can't ride a bicycle from your bag. Yes, you can. Ground pass. So yeah, it's just forced. So you can't like turn it off, which is okay. Oh, it's a hug. Okay, I get, I get you now. I get you now. Considering the community doesn't like it at all, Nintendo might want to do something about it. Hey, it's me in wishing form. Yes, it is. Uh, you would think, you would think Nintendo, well, more specifically, the Pokemon Company would listen to the outcries of their, of their, um, community, but considering they've stated that forced experience share is going to be in BDSP, you don't have a real option. Or a real choice in this fight, really. Because Nintendo, Game Freak, Pokemon Company are gonna do what they're gonna do. And I know a lot of people are... I meant in the next game. True, true. I mean... Ooh, hello. I mean, um... I'm not sure if they have experience sharing Legends Arceus, but they're not going to take that direction with Pokemon. I, well, I think they... I think they would prefer to take that specific option with Pokemon with the way that they're doing Legends Arceus, but I think they're going to build it in a much better way moving forward, maybe? I don't know. We still don't exactly know a lot about Legends Arceus, to be fair. But we also don't know a lot about the Gen 4 remakes. <laughs> but then again, the Gen 4 remakes are, um, fateful, or fateful, I say, to how they were in the original, like, fateful to the original games, which means that you're not going to see like the big battle facility from Platinum and other things like that. They might have Platinum elements in there. We don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if they've got Platinum elements in there. I mean, they have Pokemon that were in Platinum in the game. But we don't know if they have features like Distortion World or the battle facility or other things like that. Unless they've announced this information, in which case I'm looking like a clown right now because I've not read any of this. But personally, I think it it would be interesting to see. It's gonna be interesting to see what the Gen 4 remakes are like. They would probably have the distortion world. I mean, I think, I don't know, it, it'll be interesting if they do, and it'll be interesting if they don't, really, personally. I think, um, they're saying that they're fateful remakes to Gen 4, or at least to Diamond and Pearl specifically, not Platinum, and Diamond and Pearl didn't have the Distortion World, Platinum did. A lot of people are hating on the game because it's they're saying it's going to be worse than Platinum when Diamond and Pearl, uh, well, when Game Freak themselves have said it's a fateful, I keep putting quotation marks there, remake of Generation of Diamond and Pearl. The legendaries have been around for millions of years, have they? Haven't they? I think so. I think so. A lot of the... It wouldn't surprise me if they had... Well, yeah, obviously they would have been. They're legendary Pokemon. They're like very rare particular Pokemon to find. And they've probably been around for eons. I would be personally surprised if we don't see... 
I would be very surprised if we don't see, like, Palkia, Dialga, the Lake Trier. I'll be very mad if the Lake Trier don't go in. Don't get into Legends Arceus. But I already know, like, I have a sneaking suspicion that they are in. I have a sneaking suspicion that the the late guardians are going to be in Legends Arceus, which means Yuxi again. I approve, but something tells me that they're going to change the form. They're going to do something to the appearance of what they looked like. And that to me is going to terrify me because Oh, I would not want that. Sorry I wasn't here. Uh, I was out at time zone with my friends. Lol. All good. Quick. Welcome on in. Good to see you here. Our next Pokemon has appeared. It is Gastrodon. In which I am probably not getting news in Legends Alcea. Oh, Legends Alcea. You know. <laughs> in Gen 4. I don't think they, they will if they do add them. I mean, they added Galarian forms to the Kanto, to the Kanto, 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 Kanto? How do I pronounce this? Kanto region. To the, to Articuno Zapdos Moltres, they added, they added Galarian forms in this game. So it wouldn't surprise me if they did like, something towards Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azolf in, um, Legends Arceus. Especially considering they gave, um, Latias and Latios evolutions. Oh, well, Mega Evolutions, but, you know, I don't know. I brought shoes. I may have spent $600 on two pairs of shoes. The next, the next sentence by shooting a star within the chat explains exactly how I feel about that. Why? Why? Why spend $600 on two pairs of shoes when you could spend that money where you could do a lot more with a lot less, really? I mean, you still technically use shoes. You're still technically using shoes. You're just not using shoes in the way that you're normally using shoes. I think I'm just gonna straight up ban that person. I think I might just do that. If you have money to burn, give it to me. Haha! <laughs> 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 nope. Ban more person? Eh, don't worry. Smile. Oh my god, Star You, why? Star You, why? Star You, why though? Yeah, sure, here's $700 for everyone watching. Pog! $700 could go a long way in this stream. It would allow me to get some more stream assets. Cause you know, this, this, my goodness me. I can buy a capture card, finally. Great success. I'm definitely gonna look, be looking into doing overlays at some point, Shadow. Better overlays because my goodness me. Then I can earn $300 back. Pog! <laughs> I would just spend it on shoes. Quick, <laughs> Quick's only agenda is the shoe agenda, and that is fine by me. And then I can earn $300 back from streaming. Yes.
And this is why we need to take your money. No. Stop buying shoes! Just buy one, just like buy a pair from like a specific shoe store. They don't have to be the brand name stuff. Shoes are shoes. I'm wearing boots right now. I'm legitimately wearing boots. Having 40 pairs of shoes? 40 pairs of shoes is essential. Doubt. Doubt, my friend. Just buy one damn pair until it's smooth. 40 pairs of shoes! Just why? 40 pairs. Half of my half of my shoes are Gucci and Chanel. That explains a lot, really. That explains a lot. Calm it down, shooting a star. Calm it down. Calm it down, shooting a star. Uh, am I at two seventy? I better be at two seventy. Add in two minutes, shut. Uh, 269. I'm wrong. This girl is too obsessed with shoes. Can you blame them? Thank you for the luck. Thank you for the luck. Shoes are cool, but why? Street cred question mark? I don't know. Shoe topping. Shoe toppings. Shoe toppings, chat. Shoe shoppings. Shoe shopping takes a lot of time, and shoes cure the, cure my depression. Can't complain. Can't complain, really. Shoe toppings, chat. Just put a bit of chocolate in your shoe, it's fine. Just, there you go. Good as new shoe. Great shoe to eat, chat. Just on the shoe. Goodbye, shoe. It's gone now. Eating cures my depression. That's not a good way to cure depression. Because that can lead to eating disorders, my guy. And they're not good. Gaming cures my depression. Gaming is the only thing that keeps me alive. Let's not say that. I apologize for that sentence, Joe. I forgot to also mention that I like the entire wa that I have like an entire wardrobe full of snacks. My brain hurts. My brain hurts. You have hurt my brain. Can I have four hundred dollars? <laughs> Give me two hundred dollars. It's like that, uh, Dr. Phil meme. Give me two hundred dollars. Oh my god. I just thought of something incredibly cursed. I mean, I'm planning on swapping to a private school, so I might have to save. Hmm. Fair. Okay, look at the gem. Look at the gem in the middle of Staryu, yeah? You think that's it, that it's I? That, that's its eye? No, there's an eye be behind that. And I've just noticed it, and now I am forever scarred. The gem is just its protection. There's just a googly eye behind the Staryu's gem. And now I cannot unsee that. I did not know that. Just cosmetic. It's annoying now. I can no longer unsee it. That's annoying.
That's so annoying. Man, I, man, I wish I didn't bring that up now, because now I'm not going to be able to unthink that. Oh my god. Can I get a zoom? Can I get a zoom in? Oh my god, I am disgusted now. I am upset. I am very upset at myself. What if you were previously subbed? Kappa, then you get nothing. You do not even get a subscription. Quick does not even get a subscription. Quick does not want to subscribe to Zachman 103 which is a smart choice. Let's be fair here, that's a smart choice. Sheesh. If you <laughs> Thank you, Stream Elements. If you're liking the stream and haven't done so already, feel free to follow or consider following. It would help me out a lot. What's up, Mr. Shooting Ice Star? Whoops. What's up, Shooting Ice Star? I'm too broke? About that overlay. Hmm. Want me to make that for you? Question mark? Could I s Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> For free? Ooh. I can't pay for a subscription because I'm too poor. I mean, you just did spend $900 on shoes, so of course. <laughs> I'm joking, Click, it's all good. Um, Indifferent. Indifferent shooting, I saw. Indifferent shooting her star. Uh, I am too poor to sub to people. I have only ever been given subs. That's okay, your local mistake. Not a problemo. I mean, in all seriousness, chat, you do not need to sub. You do not need to sub. As long as you guys are just chilling and enjoying the stream. That helps a lot. It definitely does. But also, word of mouth definitely does go a long way. So, tell people about the stream. I feel like that would help the stream out a lot as well. <laughs> shoes are shoes. I like how this, conti uh, this conversation continues on from the Sea of Thieves stream from yesterday. You should play entry point next time you play Roblox. Hmm. I don't think so. And then again, the last time I did a viewer decides Roblox stream, it was a disaster. Just buy like one pair of shoes. Yes, just buy a singular pair of shoes, chat. That's all you really need. Gucci shoes are not essential, but just shoes. I wish you had Storm Drain. I'm not even sure if Gastrodon can learn Storm Drain. Look at me knowing my Pokemon types, chat. Amazing. It is amazing what a Zack man can achieve. That is not what I clicked. That's what I clicked. Invest stonks. I'm horrified of gravel, concrete, and grass. Everyone can have a fear, that is true. <laughs> I cannot blame you for being afraid of those sorts of things, to be completely fair with you. Where the frick is Gastrodon? Can Gastrodon learn Storm Drain? 
The answer is, it is not even... Oh, it is! It can learn Storm Drain. Water type moves are drawn to this Pokemon. Water type moves will do no damage. The Pokemon's special attack is raised by one stage. Hog. I fear the dark. Yes. Alright, I am scared of some stupid stuff, so can't blame you. True. Everyone, everyone definitely has, like, their own specific fears that they are afraid of. I am not a fan of heights. My goodness me. I remember going to the Eureka Sky Deck, going out into the, like, edge part of the Eureka Sky Deck and going, that cra- if this glass breaks, I'm dead. I hated that experience. Freaked me the heck out. Despite being quiet IRL, I have a fear of silence and loneliness. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely, that can definitely be something that I am also fearful of. I'm definitely that sort of person where I'm just like, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like, but I sometimes feel like I'm lonely and that scares, scares me a little bit, but it is what it is. Um, well, I'm scared of life 2BH, so I use shoe shopping to calm my social anxiety. That's understandable quick. I went to Kmart. And because there was Halloween stuff, there was clowns, and I was, and it scared the living daylights out of me. Yeah, that's fair. Clowns can be pretty scary. Spooky clowns. Spooky, spooky clowns. I guess another, f I guess like another fear that I have is like. I, sometimes you just fear like you're not good enough and that's just sometimes how I personally have felt because like I would sit because like, I sit here and just play games in silence and it's like that's comforting for me as well and then like trying to entertain people is definitely spooky for me because um, going through high school I was bullied a lot, a lot, a lot. I did a lot of bullying back to be fair because I was a a very not nice person in high school and other things like that. So you got to give and take, but it was definitely a lot more take than it was give out. And considering I have Asperger's, it is definitely, you're definitely seen as the weird kid you are definitely seen as a weird kid and a lot of people just do not seem to care about you and just seem to want to hate you because you're not seen as their socially normal person. There is no definition of normal chat. Everyone is their own person. There is no way that anyone can be considered remotely normal. Everyone has their own quirks and other things like that. That is for sure. That is for sure. But... With me going through high school and having to deal with a lot of bullying and other things like that, it pretty much left me with very little friends. And even then, I was in constant fear of, like, rejection from said friends and being like, I don't know how to feel. I'll get back to chat in just a second. I'm just currently explaining some stuff. I don't know how to feel in terms of, like, these people, because, like, I look at my friends and I think, what do you want? I guess another thing that also comes from that is having been used and abused by my one and only relationship currently has definitely, um, hurt me 
in a lot of ways. Like, I do not have self-confidence. And that is just something that I have always not had. And have been fighting for a long time to try and get back. But, hey, I'm glad that, you know, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy my content, so I appreciate that. I definitely do, chat. I definitely do appreciate you guys who uh, enjoy my content. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we will do that mobile game in just a second. Uh, let's quickly catch up on chat. Uh, well, I'm scared of life, TBH, social anxiety. Uh, we just talked about that one. That was my long rant. Went to Kmart, talked about that one. Clowns are scary. They definitely are. I shoved my notebook at a neighbor who tried selling blow up clowns for $100. What the hell? I am concerned. Here's the suggestion then, your local mistake. Do not play Phasmophobia. That is a good suggestion. I fear laughter at night. Definitely can't blame you there. I'm so happy I don't live close to them. Uh, I am the weird kid that everyone hates me because they little... Uh, I am the weird kid everyone hates me because I literally adore shoe, so shoe shopping. I don't think you would be hated for that. I feel like that's just more of a personal decision that you've made on your end. Like, that's just something that you've wanted to do in your own time, so... I just don't get why people hate other people for specific decisions that they make. Like, some decisions are definitely morally wrong, but other decisions like just going out and shoe shopping doesn't seem like a bad suggestion or a bad thing to do. I'm also scared of pigeons and chickens and dead corpses of animals. Pigeons and chickens, questionable, but understandable. Corpses of animals, I definitely understand. I fear dead corpses in general, that's a fact. I mean, I have not seen dead corpses of a human in real life, but have in shows slash movies and it did not scare me. So I think uh, it was just of animals, true. I mean, I'm scared of everything. Boys, girls, children, adults, teachers, schools, bosses, even my friends. Is that just social anxiety, do you think, Quick? Or do you, or is it, there a deeper meaning behind that, do you think? There's a reason for everything, pretty much. When I work from home, uh, when I, when I walk home, W-A-L-K, walk, walk home, I pass three dead birds. Yeah. But that's just Mother Nature, unfortunately, your local mistake. You cannot really control that. That'd just be Mother Nature, unfortunately. Probably trust issues and being heartbroken by my old crush. Definitely know the feeling, quick. Definitely know the feeling. I need to swap out Gastrodon for Vicavolt. I've been so distracted with talking about what's happening in the game. Uh, with talking about what we've been talking about in chat. I've not been paying attention to my Pokemon, so... I will swap out Gastrodon for Vicavolt now though, because I am paying attention again. I don't know. Trying to, um... I don't... It's it's weird to talk about this sort of stuff, especially considering, as uh, Quick said, trust issues and other things like that. It's very... It's very concerning to, like, explain private matters or, like, your private life to a bunch of people online. Like, I can definitely understand why people are definitely against talking about this sort of stuff online, where they're, like, afraid to show this side of them, the vulnerable side of them, to people online. Mainly because...
mainly because there is going to be people within a community that are going to try and take that sort of thing and abuse you about it. I feel more comfortable if it's online. Half and half. Half and half. It's definitely more... More crushing if it's a person that you know IRL and they um just go around and say stuff about you to other people or you learn from or someone else learns something about you and to be fair I've done it in the past I have said something to a person that I've heard from somebody else and it has definitely made that friendship worse I'm I can have officially say that I have done that and it made me feel like a worse person for doing it. So I've basically had to pretty much trial by fire my way through that into trying to improve as a person and even then I still don't think I'm doing a good job in terms of improving but I definitely have improved from say younger me to now. There can be a definite, there is a definite improvement there. I did that, they forgave me though. I mean, I got, I, I got forgiven. It's just that like the, the level of friendship that I had with that person was definitely affected afterwards. And like, that's understandable because I broke trust with a person and had said something that I definitely should not have said. And so that was definitely on me, but it's, in the past now and at least we're st like we're still communicating with each other it's just more not to the level of what it used to be but hey it is what it is so that's just life you you have to learn through tough experiences to you know learn how to do things in a way that won't hurt you like that again. That's a weird way of stating that, but you get what I mean. I can't even trust my crush now. She literally spilled that I like girls. I mean, yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool from them. They definitely should have um trusted you in terms of that. They sh definitely should have trusted your, um... Your secret. They should have stated that, um... Hey, I don't want you to say this to... Say this to anyone. And then they just go around and say it on Instagram. That would be a break of trust. And that's not cool. And especially considering it comes from your crush. That's... Brutal. I cannot imagine what that would be like. Because at least the good thing is, is that when it comes to my um first relationship and how toxic that was at the end of it, mainly because I was only used as a rebound. Um, we were able to. You know, just try and keep other things about each other secret. And even then, just now, like, at least that was said to my face is that I was used as a rebound from that specific person. And it hurt. Like, don't get me wrong. Finding out from a person that you put your heart and soul into that you have been used like that hurts. And it hurts hard. She literally ghosted me after I got mad at her for doing when I saw the post. For doing it when I saw the post. You have a right to be mad. You have the right to be mad. One time one of my friends asked if I liked anyone. I did at the time. I told him I liked a girl in my class. And the second I told him that, he sprinted to her and told her that I liked her. 
my crush confronted me and said that was and said that I'm weird. Brutal. At that point, I'm definitely reevaluating my friendships with people. If someone's doing that, can you read this name? I'm definitely reevaluating my friendships with people. Especially if they broke my trust like that. I would have I would have ghosted them before they ghosted me. She's my crush and my science partner. Oh. That would definitely be awkward for you then, quick, when it comes to being in the science room together with them. Give me a second, chat. I can feel a sneeze coming on and I'm not quite sure where it's going to come. But I know it's coming because my nose is starting to do a little sniffle. I think I can feel it now. Ah, this boy is being a bastard. I think we're fine for now, but you'll know you'll know in just a second. By the way, that is encounter number 300. I'm pretty sure I skipped school for an entire week. I honest, honestly cannot blame you. Prediction. Choose outcome. Prediction is that I am garbage. Definitely cannot blame you there for what for um skipping school for the entire week. Especially especially after that sort of miss misuse of trust. It would definitely definitely sting. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we'll go until... I don't know, probably 350 or something? Nah, even then I don't want to go for that long. I think we'll do probably like 300 and I just ran. I just ran. What was I thinking? Can you? Thank you. There we go. And considering uh, it was really silly that I liked her, considering she literally hated my friends, and although I was a weirdo because I called the boss. You catching the bus is not weird. People catching a bus is not weird. That's a normal thing. That's a normal thing to do. I also just realized that we have a marble game to do, so... I used to catch the boss, yeah. Okay, that'll be it for the Pokemon side of things. I want to get...